Democrat Elliot Engel of New York. Gentlemen, thank you both. You both have been uh, quite skeptical of this deal before it was made. You remain skeptical now. But let me ask you first, Chairman Royce, what is the alternative to at least starting this process? Well, remember, the administration opposed the Senate putting the key oil sanctions on Iran, which the Senate, U.S. Senate did at a hundred to zero vote. And it's those sanctions that got Iran to the table in the first place. So our feeling in the legislation which I and Elliot Engel passed out of the House with 400 votes was that we needed to continue to ratchet up those sanctions until Iran was willing to agree to give up its right to enrich, to give up its nuclear program. Until they do that, they're still on the road to having the capability for undetectable uh, nuclear weapons breakout. And that's the bottom line. We just feel more pressure needs to be brought on Iran rather than to, to make this deal and take the pressure off of Iran, which will allow them to go forward uh, with uh, their economic uh, revitalization right. of the country, which right. isn't in our interest. Uh, Congressman Engel, Engel though, the, it's there. Despite the objections of a lot of people, there is this agreement now. And the president has said quite clearly, now's not the time uh, for more sanctions here during this six-month period. Do you agree with that? Well, let me first say that it's disappointing to me that Iran is still going to be allowed to enrich while they're talking. I would have thought that that should be a prerequisite to any kind of talks. We're not asking them to dismantle any of their centrifuges. So that's disappointing. But the agreement is here, and, and we have to make it work. And I think we need to be very, very careful with the Iranians. Um, I don't trust them. I don't think we should trust them. Uh, but I think that we have to make it work. Now, I'm in favor of sanctions. I agree with Chairman Royce uh, that it's important to ratchet up uh, the problems with the Iranians so that they Now, come though, I mean, during this six-month period, do you think now is the time to ratchet those up? No, I think it makes it very difficult to, to continue the sanctions. I have been in favor. Obviously, our bill was passed 400 to 20 just a few months ago. And I think that uh, we could have played good cop, bad cop, and uh, Congress really believes that sanctions should happen. I think it's difficult for the Senate to, to do sanctions now. But I do think sanctions should always be hanging there, because that's what brought Iran in the first place. And I don't think you, you make them bargain in good faith by going squishy. Uh, Congressman Royce, uh, one of the things that uh, Senator Lindsey Graham uh, said last night to CNN was, we're still going to do this, and what we're going to do is say, here are the sanctions that are going to go in place in six months, and we'll decide how successful the six months has been before those sanctions are waived. Do you think that's a good idea? I think, I think what Senator Graham is saying is that it would be sort of a, a sword of Damocles that would be hanging there. Right. Where we would is say to idea? the Iranians, Listen, yes, yes, of course, you have to be able to hold their feet to the fire on these negotiations because once before we had an agreement with Iran, they walked away w from it, and the IAEA had an agreement from, with Iran, and Iran went ahead and built an enriched facility building uh, and lied to the IAEA about that. So unless, in, unless we understand that the people who run in Iran who send the protesters out to chant death to America last month in the streets, Unless we understand, you know, that they are capable of cheating and have in place the ability to really ratchet up, we're going we're gonna to find ourselves exactly where I've, we found ourselves with North Korea, which will be uh, that nuclear capability will be in the hands of the Ayatollah. Congressman Engel, when you look at Iran today, do you see the new president... Uh, acting like a moderate uh, helped open uh, the way for these talks? Or do you see the Ayatollah Khomeini, who is uh, shouting, you know, death to America, death to Israel? Wh which is the real Iran? Well, I think the supreme leader is, is the real Iran. Yeah, it's all I, the I one who has said death to America. Yes, and just last week he called Israel a rabid dog. I mean, the, the rhetoric hasn't stopped. Uh, look, Rouhani is not. Moderate. Uh, no moderates were allowed to, to run in the Iranian election. All the moderates were excluded. You had six hardliners that were allowed to run. 
and Rouhani is perhaps the most moderate of the six hardliners, but he's still a hardliner. It's not clear to me that he uh, can make these decisions anyway. It's the Supreme Leader, Khamenei, who can make these decisions, and he frankly hasn't shown uh, any kind of moderation whatsoever. Look, I think we have to use these next six months to make sure that uh, Iran dismantles its program and that they have no right to enrichment. They keep saying, even uh, as we speak, that they have a right to enrichment. That troubles me. They don't. Uh, Chairman Royce, let me ask you as a, a final question. W at this moment, what do you think is the worst that can happen over the next six months? And there's really not anything right now that Congress can do, is there? Well, here's the unfortunate thing. We had put enormous pressure on Iran, and it was having an impact internally. Some of the polling out of the country by Gallup showed that two-thirds of the people wanted a Western-style democracy, right? And the, you had hyperinflation. You have mass unemployment there. Uh, you, you have a situation where Iran was having a hard time funding the type of instability it likes to create throughout the region. One of the reasons that other uh, regimes throughout the Middle East are concerned about our approach is that they feel that in letting up on Iran and lifting sanctions, we're going to re-empower Iran to be the hegemon in the, U in the Middle East, to mm -hmm. take that money and continue to support Hezbollah, Hamas, uh, attempts to overthrow Saudi Arabia, uh, their machinations in other governments around right. that region. They're still and, a sponsor and, uh, of Jordan. terrorism. So they're still, they are a right. state sponsor of terrorism. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chairman Ed Royce, Ranking Member Elliot Engel, both of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Appreciate your time today. When we return, should the Iran